Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy and welcome to this PHP tutorial on sending SMS or text messages using PHP. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, sign signing up for uh, a website that allows us to send text messages. We can't do this solely with PHP. We have to have some kind of uh, platform to do this uh, through. Um, and we do this using uh, a site that allows us to purchase credits for text messages and then access their API. Now, uh, if I just go ahead and open up my uh, web browser, I'm using Source SMS. Uh, the reason being it is extremely easy to use and it's really, really quick uh, to, you know, like sign up, purchase credits and, and get the API going. And it's relative, well, very straightforward. So what I'm going to be doing is um, I already have an account, so I'm going to be just taking you around how you would register and about purchasing credits just so you're aware. And then I'll go ahead and log in and we'll get down to the PHP part of this. So um, obviously you would go ahead and you'd sign up as, as, as usual. Um, you would also then select um, a bundle. So for example, you might want to purchase 50 or 100 credits uh, and then you could use them to you know, send, uh, send you know, messages. Um, they have a page on pricing and uh, and and coverage, so you, you know you can find all the out all the information here. So I won't go through absolutely everything, but go ahead and and take a look here. And the costs are clearly outlined, and the text per uh, message as well. So obviously, the more you purchase, the cheaper it is. Um, okay, so we we also have a developer section here, um, and this just goes through um, the API, how we can use it, gives some examples. I'm going to be going through the nitty gritty and how we actually do this on our own terms so we can go ahead and we can implement this into any system we like. So you may have a system that you you know want to authenticate a user with or send them out some information or a code or something. I'm going to be sort of taking you through the more technical side of this and showing you how to set it up, how to actually send a message as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, there's some information here. Get a free test account with 10 credits. Uh, so I guess go ahead and follow them instructions and, and get your test account. I think that really helps because then you've got 10, you know, uh, text messages essentially or SMS messages that you can go ahead and test with. Uh, obviously, you know, you might not want to initially purchase a bulk amount of text messages. Okay, so um, the sign up process relatively straightforward. I'm just going to go ahead and log in. You can see that I'm already logged in here. Um, I've you know just been signed in already. Uh, I've sent one text message. That was just an example that I used um, before I started the tutorial. But now we're going to go ahead and look at the the code side of this. Now, if I just go ahead and duplicate this tab um, and head back over to their home page, they've got some interesting and useful information in the developers section, which we've already gone over. Um, so we uh, can download some pre-built examples here, but what I'm going to be doing is taking you through this from the start. So try not to go ahead and copy and paste these examples. It's really good to sort of get to know how to use these, and that makes it a lot easier to incorporate this into your own system uh, eventually. So what we're going to do here is, uh, instead of downloading these examples, we have an API tab within our uh, control panel, if you like. And this just outlines all of the data that you need to pass to their server. Um, and you can see here that we've got a, a URL that we will pass specific data to, which will then send a message. So we need to make sure all this information is correct. We do have this really useful uh, well the really useful ability to change this zero here to one and what that does is it allows us to any information to be fed back so it basically display, displays any information back from um, source SMS so without further ado let's go ahead and start to actually build our, our PHP page and actually send a text message now obviously you guys aren't going to see my phone and you're not going to see you know the text message come through but I'm going to take you through of how you know we are sort of look what what we're looking for and what confirmation we're looking for uh, to see if the text has actually been sent so obviously you'd go ahead and try this out with your number and receive the message on your uh, phone but um, if you do run into problems then there's certain things that we can check so we'll be briefly touching on them as well so obviously the first thing we want to do is open a, a PHP tag. We're going to specify just a few variables or a couple of variables first and then we're going to create an array of all this data. Uh, we're not going to do it like they've done it on the site in this tab here. 
in here. Uh, these are just the examples of, uh, of which you know variables need to be stored. So we're going to be doing it slightly differently. So let's first of all go ahead and create a variable called URL, and we're going to include here the URL that we need to you know pass all this data to. So let's go ahead and copy that and paste it into there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create a variable, an empty variable, um, and this is going to be the uh, query string that we pass through to this um, PHP page here. So I'm going to say fields underscore string, and I'm going to make that equal to null, or set the value of null to this. Let me just go ahead and tidy this up, uh, and we're done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create an array of all this data that we need to send, and I'm going to I'm going to implement this data within here. Um, obviously, if you're creating some kind of like contact form, or you know you're doing this back end, for example, if someone made a correct purchase or something, uh, all this data would sort of be injected in via however you're you know retrieving this uh, user's information. But I'm going to be sort of plugging this in, hard coding it in for now. So let's go ahead and create this um, variable. I'm going to call it fields, and it's going to be an array. So I'll pull that down. And we're going to create the key and the, uh, the key and the value for each um, element here. So the key is obviously the you know just the element's um, reference, if you like. So I'm going to say from first of all, Alex. Oops. Now all of this data that I'm typing here is available here. It's exactly the same as this. So from from. Um, from is just what appears on the phone when the message is received. So I'm just going to say from Alex. I'm going to go ahead and just tap this over a bit just so we've got enough room and keep it tidy. Uh, and we need to do all of these as well. So I've got them written down next to me. I'm going to go ahead and do them all and explain them as we go along. Um, so two, some of them are, are very, very, you know, obvious. So this is the number that we are sending this um, message to. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my mobile. Now it's important to note that this has been done without the um, without the country code. Now you're not going to be able to see this because I've I would have blurred it out. Obviously, I don't want to give my mobile number away or my cell phone number away. Um, but this is done without the country code because we're going to specify this a bit later on uh, instead. So here we're going to say uh, message, and this one is uh, very obvious. And all I'm going to do is just say hello there. Okay, so um, the next is the username and the password that you have um, with source SMS. Now the password isn't as obvious. So the username, mine's just, oops, PHP Academy. And the password, which is specified as P word, isn't the password, it's the API key. So now I'm going to go and uh, show you how to get your API key. So if we go over to main, you can see here we've got the credit status, blah, 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 and here we have our API key. And this is the password that we send um, uh, as the, well, this is the data that we send as the password. So that's the API key just there. Now we have this value hash, which is basically an authentication, um, uh, how can I say it, okay, authentication process on their end. So this is always going to be the same. So if we go over to the API tab, we just basically copy this. And that says here, authenticate server request. So we don't need to edit that. We keep it the same. Um, there's no need to change this. Um, now we're going to specify the country code. So um, in my case, I'm uh, in the UK, so it is 44. And then the last piece of information that we need is the um, well, whether or not to display the information. And for now, I'm going to put one because it's important that I see back that the the message has been sent correctly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just print R on this uh, these fields. And we'll see this data um, if we go over to here. There we go. So we have an array with all these bits of data in. Now what we're going to be doing in the next part of the video is we're going to be looping through these uh, using the URL encode function, the PHP URL encode function, which I'll briefly explain in the next part. And then we're going to be we're going to be sort of creating a query string out of these that we can then pass through to the um, source SMS API, and we're going to do that using curl. So I'll explain that all in the next part.